Hi everybody and a very warm welcome to Susanna's Kitchen. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and thank you for choosing to click on this video. So we make everything in the Ninja Foodie here and Christmas is no exception. Of course, I don't expect you to be making a whole Christmas dinner for like 10 people using just one Ninja Foodie. But these recipes aren't just for Christmas Day. These recipes are for the full festive season. So I've got you covered with everything from party nibbles, starters, main courses, desserts, drinks. I've got the full works going on this December. So I really hope you enjoy these videos. Don't forget to give me a like below and subscribe to my channel as well. So today's recipe is an exclusive cookbook recipe. I've got a brand new Christmas cookbook that I have just released over on my website, which is www.susannaskitchen.uk. So go over there and grab yourself a copy. Now you don't need to worry about saving this video for today's recipe because there'll be a QR code in the cookbook which will link back if you do want to watch the recipe video again. And all my recipes are so super achievable and of course really delicious. So I hope you enjoy today's Ninja Foodie recipe. Let's go and start cooking. I'm really excited to bring to you this absolutely gorgeous turkey recipe. So it is mildly spiced and don't be put off by that. It's just gonna give us a really beautiful flavor to that turkey meat. And we're creating a brine right now, which is gonna give us the most succulent, juicy turkey. And that's exactly what we're all looking for. So when I start making my brine, I only add a small amount of my water that I'm actually going to be using overall because we're going to heat it and we need it to go back to cold before we turn the turkey in. So I'm only literally just starting off with one litre of water. We will need more water than that. Um, the reason I do this is because I just want to dissolve the salt and the sugar that we're going to be using. So let's get the ninja on to sear and saute to warm that up. I'm gonna be using some golden caster sugar, so I'm just going to weigh that out in my bowl here. Lovely, now we can add that in to the water. As I said, we're doing this because we want to dissolve it. And this seems a crazy amount, but in goes the salt. So just let this warm through, let the sugar and the salt dissolve in that water on sear and saute. Once that has, we can remove that from the heat, add the rest of our cold water and all the ingredients that we are using to brine this turkey. So to give this flavor, we just want some subtle spice. I'm using a wedge here of ginger. It doesn't matter, just cut it up and that's gonna go in the bowl. Again, I've got a celery stick here and just chop it up roughly. Again, this is all for flavor. And it's really gonna make a difference to your turkey. If you want nice, moist turkey meat, then brining it is the way to go, most definitely. So what my son has just been explaining to me, that this is basically osmosis, which he's learned in his science lessons at school. My understanding of it is that the moisture within your turkey is basically gonna be replaced by some of this liquid that we are creating here, which gives you one, the flavor, but it also means that it's gonna break down the proteins. And then when you cook it, the proteins aren't gonna tighten up. Therefore, you can have a much moister turkey, plus it's gonna be flavored as well, which is gonna make it so delicious. Got an orange next. And I'm actually gonna put this in now into the water, give it a little squeeze as well. And that's gonna add loads of flavor. Now we can prep the other bits that we need. We want cloves, we want star anise, we want mustard seeds, we want cinnamon stick, we want some black peppercorns and an onion. There's loads going into this. I'm gonna put in um, some honey, got that here maple syrup, also some parsley. I've removed the pot from the ninja and I've added in the rest of my water. Now you don't wanna put your turkey into this until this is completely cold. So make sure that this is cooled before you do that stage. Now my turkey is gonna be two and a half kilograms roughly. 
And so these are the quantities that I'm using here. Everything's going to be in the cookbook, so don't worry about that. I've just added my honey and maple syrup. Now in with the ginger and the celery. And we are nearly there. Um, parsley was my last thing to add. A nice bunch like that. Get that in. Give that a stir. Oh my goodness. This has got so much flavour. A lot of these things for me are store covered ingredients that I already have. So if you don't have something, please don't worry. Don't feel you need to go out and, and, and buy it. If you've got it, you've got it. But of course, all these things are going to add up to the most beautiful flavour. Just wanted to show you the turkey. So this has been in the brine overnight. So I'm just going to unwrap that now. And I put it breast side down just to make sure that that obviously was fully covered and submerged because I want that meat to be really, really tender. I'm going to get it out of here. I'm going to pat it dry, ready for us to roast it. So the turkey has been brined beautifully and now I've got it in the pot ready for cooking. Now this size is really kind of your maximum. You can't get it on the rack because it will hit the top of the ninja. But I'm okay with that because what I'm going to do is with my extras, I'm going to literally poke them down the side. I'm going to get lots of juices off of the turkey and then you can use the remainder as a gravy, which is really nice. Don't forget, for all the ingredients for this, beautiful turkey, then you just need to grab a copy of my brand new cookbook. So let's start with the bits in the bottom. Ordinarily, I would put these right in the bottom, but it was kind of easier to get the turkey in first. They are going to the bottom, by the way, because there is space down there. Now, I've got stock here because we're going to be steam roasting this turkey. And I do it in the same way that you would do a chicken. So I've got the probe in ready and I've got that into the really thick part of the breast there. I will be using a separate thermometer to check this all over because, you know, food safety, you've got to be, you've got to be sure that this is fully cooked. The probe and the ninja is pretty accurate though, I have to say. I've never really had an issue with it. So stock in the bottom here. So I'm just going to pour that down the side because I don't want to get that on the turkey. So I've dried off with some kitchen towel the, um, the actual breast there. This is a turkey crown, by the way, in case you're wondering. Brilliant. And then I like to add a little bit of something extra. And now for my secret ingredient. <laughs> Probably not really that secret, is it? But this is a beautiful glaze that I have melted together and we are going to coat the turkey with this. So give it a little bit of love, give it some gorgeous flavour and put this all over it. Now you may have noticed, you know, I haven't um, stuffed the turkey and I find that um, with a crown like this and cooking it on steam roast, I just personally think it's better to do your stuffing separate, but that is down to you. Getting this all over, and obviously when this drips down as well, it's going to really help flavour the gravy that we're going to have as well in the bottom there. This really is a beautiful glaze on there. Now, all we need to do is steam roast our turkey. We're cooking to temperature, we're not cooking to time. The turkey is resting under foil and I'm now creating my gravy. Of course, this is optional. You don't have to do this, but I've got it on to sear and saute and I've added a little bit of browning to this just to give it a little bit more depth of colour. And then I've added some corn flour to it as my thickener. And this works so well. Of course, you can opt for some turkey or chicken gravy granules in here. That will thicken it as well. There's so much flavour in here. I just could not waste this. This is going to make the most beautiful gravy. 